yes. who is a Google partner. And therefore, most of the people have known me through that program uh, as a digital skills trainer or coach. So uh, it's a program that helps the youths uh, in Africa to acquire skills that are going to help them to improve employability and job creation. Mm. So it's all about making the most from the web. Uh, mm. You know, there is too much uh, of information in the internet and until you get to know what you do with the information to make it, you know, to leverage from that, uh, people are finding themselves in a lot of, you know, issues, uh, some they are scammed and this program is uh, definitely meant to uh, make the skill become uh, something that you can learn with and make a profession out of the same. Uh, both in working for yourself or serving other people. So it's all about bringing uh, the internet mm -hmm. and the website to become the main tool that is going to both drive business and create opportunity. All right. Yes. And uh, if someone is watching uh, this conversation and they're wondering, what sort of educational background do I need to have to learn about the digital skills? Is it available for everyone? Brilliant. Uh, digital skills, uh, as many people, when they hear about digital skills, they think maybe they'll need to go back to class and start doing some computer studies or ICT courses. Or maybe some people think like maybe I have not done any, I don't have any computer background or marketing background, so this could be something that I don't, I'm not fit for. But uh, digital skills is for everyone, even somebody watching us now. You, you don't need to have any background in technology for you to to start you know interacting with technology and making the most from that mm -hmm. because most of the things that you learn they are right as th they, they don't have maybe what we can call a structured kind of a system that you must follow from point a to b to the end and maybe graduation but uh, there are technologies that have been customized of course by even various organizations in the internet that are short term, you can just learn them within a very short time. Some can take even a day, some can take a week, others maybe a month. Uh, there are various platforms and you are able to, to get those skills and do something about them. For instance, uh, did somebody teach you how to browse on Facebook? Nobody taught me that. <laughs> Nobody taught you. <laughs> yes. But you found yourself signing up an account. Mm -hmm. Even if uh, people don't have an email, they can use a telephone number. But eventually, uh, you, you realize that you've learned something as you interact. And now it's for you to make it more professional so mm -hmm. that uh, at least you can begin to leverage from the same. All right. So how can my viewers learn about uh, new skills or brush up on their existing knowledge about, uh, you know, just uh, digital skills and looking at the Google? And does Google offer these courses and at what particular fee? Um, let me answer that question this way. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a mentor with the PDTP, Presidential Digital Talent uh, Training Program, okay. where I, I mentor the fresh graduates from the university whom the government is attaching in various institutions in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And even yesterday, we had a, a, a meeting for the cohort five uh, that is that launched, and we have new students who are joining those places. And therefore, as one of the mentors, Actually, these are some of the things that we are supposed to help them understand. And Anjira Digital uh, for Kenya, they, they have a, a program uh, that they have partnered with like Coursera. Mm -hmm. uh, and those, th those programs, you know, they, they, have, they have merged a lot of universities, uh, courses together from overseas, and they are able to give those uh, programs free to the youth. And it's a program that you can just sign up and start learning by yourself from a smartphone. Okay. And also there are others by Google, like uh, we usually, when we are training, we also make bring to awareness that people can learn a lot of uh, skills from Google uh, by going to g.co slash digital skills. Mm -hmm. And they will be able to, to learn a lot of other skills. Or they can even Google search, uh, maybe train with Google or something, they'll see how they can log in. And these courses also provide a certificate, but they are more practical. Mm -hmm. They are more practical to make sure that they leave you with a practical impact of something that you can do. All right. Yes. Uh, you spoke about, you mentioned something, but I see that the, the certificates which are going to be issued at the end of the program. So how do students get certified and how long does this uh, particular program take? Uh, if thank I'm you going so much. Go online for them. All right. Um, 
if if you if you log into those platforms like the the one that I'm very conversant with that mm-hmm. because I is the one that I've been involved in training mm-hmm. is for g.co slash digital skills okay uh, which also information is available at immobilis uh, limited website okay uh, people are able to to get uh, the link to do those courses and every module provides a certificate so mm-hmm. you can get uh, an internationally recognized certificate which mm-hmm after upon finishing it is mm-hmm. generated uh, in the internet and then you can download it in pdf so it's up to you either to print it or maybe to use it as an e-certificate whenever you are looking for opportunities right. yes um, for someone who's watching this this conversation of ours and they're wondering what is what is the importance of me learning about digital skills all right um you know one thing the world has gone digital absolutely and uh, there is a generation right now the generation that is that found internet learning we call it generation 2.0 mm-hmm. generation 2.0 is a generation of uh, the kids who found technology existing so all they know is smartphones and all that meaning the way they do their things they did the way they see the world is totally different from the generation mm-hmm. that was disrupted by technology and uh, internet has over 4.6 billion users okay. at the moment actually by yesterday night i was checking the statistics it was at 4.69 billion users right. and uh, the world has got about 7.7 billion people meaning the analog world uh, is where is, is being you know is wearing out slowly where we've of uh, like three quarters of the world in the internet and that again comes with a lot of opportunities and now people ask what can i do with this technology there are so many things that you can do with internet i know it's a big bush mm. many people have lost money in the same uh, others have gone and got disappointed there is a lot of conning but uh, there are several things you can do with internet to make money uh, i usually say like maybe let me mention like the five things you can do for you to make uh, genuine money okay. for instance let's talk about youtube Yes. Uh, you see, like the gospel artists and musicians nowadays, mm-hmm. they tell you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes. But people have never asked, why is it that everyone now is talking about subscribe to my YouTube channel? It's because uh, when you open a YouTube channel, which is free of charge, mm-hmm. you just need a Gmail account. And you start populating the followers, subscribers, which you can do very well by sharing the social medias. Mm-hmm. After getting 1,000 followers, and your videos happen to be viewed by 4,000 for 4,000 hours, Google partners with you for ads. Mm-hmm. I think you've uh, visited uh, videos and you are, you are an advert first ads, and yes. then it asks you to skip. Mm-hmm. Now, whenever that advert lands, that is money to the owner of the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And as I speak this, I happen to, I'm one of the people who make money from YouTube. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I started this back in 2010 and I've made even to the tunes of 1800 US dollars sometimes in a month. What sort of content do you upload on your YouTube now, channel? The YouTube channel, you need to be very careful mm-hmm. if you want to venture into that one. You need to be very careful because uh, you can't upload other people's content mm-hmm. unless you have a consent. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, the best thing is to have your own content. You upload it there, something that you know people can come to watch. It could be a comedy, mm-hmm. it could be a less hype, teaching people how to cook this or that. Uh, it's different interests on business. Yes, 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 different interests. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, you need some, some skills also in the same because there are videos that have got more traction others don't have. Mm-hmm. For instance, any video that talks about how to is highly researched. Mm. Anytime you put a video and give it a title, how, how to, to, it has got a lot of traffic and that one can bring you a lot of money. So I know people are making even half a million in a month mm-hmm. from YouTube and it's something that somebody can begin mm-hmm. and you upload the videos and you continue sharing and eventually people will learn that you post nice content and you will beca- start earning money with that. Maybe okay. you can be asking, or somebody could be asking, how do you get that money? <laughs> and also another question is yes. the marketing strategy just to have uh-huh. like, numerous viewers in your channel and also subscribers. Mm. Yeah. yeah, if you want to have viewers, this you have to share it widely. Mm-hmm. You see, it could be on WhatsApp groups, it could be on Twitter, it could be on Facebook. Uh, so or any other place you find an opportunity important thing just, sharing yes okay. sharing is very very important okay. because when you share the link somebody will click it instantly so even if it is not all the time that that video will learn for the advert the few seconds it will have learned 
that means money to you. Okay. That's just one of the channels. Mm -hmm. And if you want to get that money, there's, uh, they call it, um, uh, it's called AntiSense account. Mm -hmm. And AntiSense account is also free. When you research, search for AntiSense account, you'll see it. And that is where you open and all the money is put there. And it's up to you to decide, do you want it to transfer to the bank or you want Western Union? Okay. So for me, I've been withdrawing through Western Union mm -hmm. for about uh, What's the advantage of that? Sorry? What's the advantage of transferring to the bank? Western Union is because it's instant. One time I was in Rwanda and I was trodded without oh, money okay. in Kigari. Right. And it, it was 21st when they used to send me money. And mm -hmm. that is when I received the MTCN notification. Mm -hmm. And I withdrew 57,000 equivalent Kenya shillings. Oh, wow. So the other channel you can use maybe could be like content marketing. Mm -hmm. Uh, people can decide to do blogs and on those blogs mm -hmm. uh, they are able to pass information to people so that uh, as people learn that they can also partner for ants i think you've gone to websites and you find some ant fats pop up ants yes yeah. it's come mm -hmm. when you click it then you are paid per click because mm -hmm. of that partnership all right and so uh, you can continue please yeah there's also social media marketing all right um people can decide to be marketing for other people like yesterday i had a client we had a meeting somewhere. He da deals with real estate. So he told me, I want to my company to embrace a full digital um, kind of presence mm -hmm. so that I can be visible in the internet. Mm -hmm. So I told him, we are going to create a website. We are going to create a YouTube channel. We are going to create Twitter. We are going to create Facebook. And I charge them. All social media yes, handles. Yes, all okay. social media handles. And I charge that for that kind of a consultancy. And also making a professional, uh, you know, face of the same. All right. So when you just still on matters pertaining content, right? Yes. So content is very crucial in driving the brand awareness to the market space. Yeah. So what is the importance of creating uh, not just content, but content that is relevant uh, to keyword research and optimization, or optimizing them in, in a strategy? Uh, it's very key, by the way. If, if you want, you know, when you are creating that content at the back of the mind, you, you should ask yourself, what do I want to gain from this? Do I want to drive traffic? Maybe you could be promoting someone else's business. Mm -hmm. And you want people, for instance, we can talk about how to eliminate pimples on the mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. I know many ladies, when they mm -hmm. have those things, they didn't trouble them. This is how to have a smooth face. Yeah. And maybe somebody is promoting some, some beauty products. So you create a content and you, you write a, a great content that people can relate can, can come and relate to. Yeah. And, but then you can also write the solution, the problem and the solution. Mm -hmm. But then you can say, if you want more information about how you can counter this, click here. Mm -hmm. And now they can go to the website of that business and they find all the products they sell maybe to bring about a elimination of the pimples and all that mm -hmm. therefore at, at the end of the day that one will mean business mm -hmm. therefore when you do the content you must make sure uh, it's relevant it's connecting and then what are you up to mm -hmm. you know what are you up to so it's not just about entertaining people because now we are talking like making money using internet mm -hmm. yes and also consistency i believe yes consistency is very important mm -hmm. and um it's very very important all right uh, when it comes to uh, uh, uh what digital skills do you uh, offer in your portfolio, right, uh, to meet the not just your your students but also the industry needs? All right, uh, my company is called Digital Age Business Solutions, okay. and uh, we are more into helping people to market their products and services strategically. You know, like for instance, we offer services to, if you want, maybe you are selling something and you want only to reach out, uh, maybe ladies only or men only, which age, mm -hmm. who and what kind of an income. We, we do digital marketing using Google Ads, which is able to reach out to people depending with various, you know, the demographic mm -hmm. is different. It's for you to define it. So we mm -hmm. can literally get anyone that you want mm -hmm. uh, to become your client or to become, you know, you, 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 a partner is with, in business with you. Mm -hmm. So we, we offer that. We also develop websites. And um, our website is very crucial in our time. We've got mm -hmm. now almost uh, 1.8 billion websites in the world, and they are always increasing. So the only way to be found online is by having a website. That's like a home in the internet. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also another, another field that people, youth can use to to create websites for people mm -hmm. and earn money because we've got free platforms 
that people can use to create websites for others. Okay. So that's what our business, our company does. We also host domains. So domain registrations, we also do hosting. And we also do like optimization of people's websites. You can be having an existing website that people don't know about. Mm. You can search online and your website will never be visible. Mm. So we, we optimize it so that it also becomes part of the results when a client has keyed in the kind of a want that relates to your pro services and products. All right. And uh, we also do such agent marketing, putting you on top of competition. Just so, so that clients can have easy access exactly. to, to your brand. Exactly. Okay. Going back to still and matters pertaining branding and uh, businesses need to reach out to a uh, to, you know, huge number of potential customers yeah. and they have to just effectively use social media to reach to these numbers. Mm -hmm. What would be your advice to just uh, have uh, traffic on their website? What well, a couple of maybe top three advice you could give them just to bring traffic on their website? Uh, one is you need to understand your audience mm -hmm. because not everyone is interested with what you are selling. So you know you are client. You know the people that need your services or products. Mm -hmm. So once you understand them, uh, then you can develop a hashtag that mm -hmm. is related to what you do. So that every time people are researching for you, they can use that hashtag and they can drive traffic. Number two, uh, you need to also maybe decide on a budget you can use to boost your, your information in the internet, like social media. Because sometimes uh, organic, mm -hmm. organic, uh, uh, organic re results or, or, or organic uh, publicity is not enough to bring you the kind of people that you want all the time. Mm -hmm. You need to pay. When you pay, it means that uh, your advert is able to reach even the people who don't follow you. Or even if you don't have any relationship with the friends who follow mm -hmm. you, it's able to appear to those people and they can find your products and services. So you can decide on a budget. Digital is usually very affordable. Mm -hmm. So uh, a small budget, you are able to reach out a very, a very big number of people and specific people. Uh, that's number two. And number three, it's good to have a professional approach. So don't just go on in the internet and think because everybody is there, I should be there. Mm -hmm. Think about your service and products, which is the best platform for you. Some platforms, maybe Instagram is the best. Mm -hmm. some, to some platforms, it's Twitter, depending with professionalism. Maybe to some platform, it's very professional. It could be LinkedIn, mm -hmm. you know? So depending with the nature of your business or your services, it's, 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 it, it is now going to dictate what kind of a social media platform you will use for you now to bring the results that you'd want to see. All right. It's yes. a, there's one thing that you have kept on saying about the internet, which is actually a bush. Like, you meet all different kind of uh, things on the internet, and you, you won't be surprised meeting scammers. Sure. One of the one of the many ways that uh, people would like to shy away from also online jobs is through there are a couple of uh, scams that come through affiliate marketing. People will tell you like we're offering this particular product, or if you want to train with us, you just click on this link, and then they'll take you to a couple of so many other links which end up with you with nothing. So how do we avoid uh, scam scams on the internet? Uh, like I said, you need some some little skills, mm -hmm. which you don't need to go to school to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I've mentioned quite a number of of platforms you can you can use, mm -hmm. uh, because I found this disturbing many people. I also went through the same. Mm -hmm. So maybe you how to make ten thousand shillings per day, mm -hmm. yeah, and you click click here, you click only taking you to another. Uh, page Major. then now it tells you now you need to download <laughs> this ebook for yes. you to learn the strategy mm -hmm. and uh, you it's costing you e two thousand you download the ebook you mm. pay the money then the ebook is taking you to another classroom that yeah. is not bringing the results you give up already the owner of that one mm -hmm. has made is two thousand mm. but you are still struggling looking for help mm -hmm. now what you should do is this um you should always try to find in the reviews what people are talking about certain platforms. If you find a platform that is telling you make this money, uh, internet has got both good and bad information, scammers and, you know, legitimate things. So you can go to reviews page and see what other people are talking about, maybe the kind of a web that you have seen, mm -hmm. and see the comments. You see the complaints. Okay, we've got others who post such to counter, but always you'll be able to judge which one people which one is legit what people are talking about that maybe a website or a company 
And if you see the negative remarks, then that one could not be something good. But other, again, when you see maybe like a company that is listed on like Google My Business platforms, uh, that can be a very rigid company because okay. uh, uh, if it is associated with that kind of a platform, they are which recognized. it's very recognized, so it's, it's likely to be very rigid. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that can help you. And also, you can judge by the loading of the website. Mm -hmm. Any website that loads with HTTP without S, uh, one, you should begin to question from there. S oh, means secure. Okay. But if it loads up there with HTTPS yes. before the full colon and the, the yes. two uh, slashes there, yes, yes. then that tells secure. But that again does not guarantee you everything is okay. Mm. Uh, many youths, by the way, have lost a lot of money and um, they are still losing and they have not yet gotten there, the, the experience they needed. Mm. Uh, Africa marketing is real. I've I know of many companies which sell online here in Kenya. I work with some of them. Mm -hmm. So what you usually do, you log in and click on become an affiliate. And mm -hmm. therefore you are given a specific, a special code. So whenever, you, then you can use that link. You've given a specific link. So if you want people to come and buy from those people, you said maybe like there are offers for this kind of a phone mm -hmm. with this uh, 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 company which sells online. Uh, then when people buy using your link, mm -hmm. They, if they click that link to check what is this, yeah, it's some money you get. Others give up to, I've seen some that give even 100, uh, 400 bob per, per purchase, mm -hmm. others 250, depending with what the client will buy. Absolutely. And if you've got maybe 10 clients buying and you are getting 400 shillings per each client, that is 4,000 per day, you never woke up to run around in the streets. So your money is, money is working sure. for you. It's very real. It's very, very real. Right. Going yes. back to uh, job opportunities for young people, how does digital skills uh, in increase an opportunity for a young person in the job market? Just the fact that I have digital skills. Uh, now, by, by having the, the skills that can help you to embrace digital technology, mm -hmm. you can decide maybe to become a consultant mm -hmm. if you want to market for other people mm -hmm. and ch charge them money for that. Maybe if you are selling your own products, a side hustle, you are able to paste them around and you know, advertise and you are able to get other clients mm -hmm. without having to set up a, a traditional shop. Mm -hmm. By this, I mean maybe you, you pay for your rent a shop and then you, you start equipping things. You can also sell things that you don't own mm -hmm. as, as long as you have that. There's one of my friends, actually, that's how he makes money. Mm -hmm. uh, he sells laptops. He doesn't have a computer shop, but he's very legit. So what he has, he has a page, he mm -hmm. advertises, and when people need it, mm -hmm. then he sells and even sends them by parcels services mm -hmm. and that's how he has managed to to make a lot of money all right yes. and let's look at the digital space what is the future like when it comes to digital skills is there a time whereby artificial intelligence will be much more into the economy system and we don't need like digital digital skills from uh, individuals well with the trend of technology today um i foresee that time coming and this tells you that we cannot ignore technology. Actually, we cannot ignore technology because technology is evolving. Mm -hmm. Technology is never stagnant. Every day, even now as we talk, something new is happening. Mm -hmm. So I foresee a time when there'll be that artificial intelligence where almost everything will be happening now with the help of the, the technology. And therefore, what I would advise is that let people get in touch with technology and the things that are about to happen so that they can live up to date, to date with the, the changes that are happening today. Okay. Yes. Okay. So looking back to uh, since when you started this journey on digital, uh, digital skills consultancy and also training, mm -hmm. you've reached out to over 25,000 Kenyans in the period of 2019 to 2020. Looking back, what are a couple of achievements that you look back and you see the impact that you have had so far and you feel like, yes, I, I, I don't regret this? Um, I've been able to groom quite a number of graduates mm -hmm. who graduate from uh, the colleges and help them to understand the next steps they can take, maybe helping some of them to create remote offices where they are able to start working without having to incur too much costs. Maybe after they build up now, they can have the traditional office so that they can start executing their services. Uh, some of the institutions have uh, trained, they have ended up developing websites and the websites are able to bring them students from other counties, especially vocational colleges, 
and uh, they are able now to have you know people from other cultures there is even an, a college that told me that they have students from some neighboring countries which came as a result of the the website others are uh, you know technical institutions have got too much to display they are able now to display their products and services and you see them developing some side hustle business uh like the the vocational mostly because i've really been too much into vocational uh, like last year uh the, the people who are doing technical courses like beauty i've been showing them how they can still be doing business part-time as much as they are encouraged studying the same skills and they can get started without having to set up a salon mm -hmm. and others they can maybe cost share a space uh, with a, a salonist so whenever you have a client you direct him to a certain place you are the one who handles the client and then there is some money you pay to to the the owner of the salon and then you are able to make your profit so it has made it easy for people to get started without you know having to incur a lot of capital maybe to start moving on with your business life so this is something i have seen Mm -hmm. And I've seen people graduating from that to having their own businesses. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. How can people reach out to you if they want to help keep this conversation going and just also find out on uh, matters pertaining to uh, training and everything else? Uh, people can reach out to me uh, using our website. We are updating certain things. It's the dabs.co.ke. Or they can email me at wisenyaga at gmail.com. Or maybe call call us uh, by using zero seven two zero nine six eight six three eight. Okay. Maybe if they are watching us from overseas, they can just add the plus two five four seven two zero nine six eight six three eight, and we'll be able to help them. All right. Thank you very much, Pastor Ken, for creating time thank to be so with us and just talking about matters pertaining digital skills and how it is important to just also uh, improve an opportunity for us to get into the job market or even start our own, you know, jobs in the social media uh, platforms and everything else that does with digital digital spaces. You're right. Thank okay. you so much for mm -hmm. coming. And also, I'm coming up with a website called yesubuku.com. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to create the first online Christian social media platform. Okay. Yesubook.com. Yesu for Jesus. Oh. Y e s u b o o k dot com. And how can guys get reach out to that? Which if they go to yesubook.com, they'll mm -hmm. be able to find information and even numbers how they can reach out to me. Mm -hmm. We hope to launch that social media site this coming month. Okay. in the month of october 2020 mm -hmm. yes 